Many find it difficult to adjust to life back in the real world. The world they knew before they went to jail isn't the same anymore when they get out. CBS 11's Lauren Maxwell found a man who is helping them with that transition in tonight's Break the Cycle. And life in prison has its challenges, but getting out can create lots of problems on its own. Tonight we meet a man who knows that firsthand. At one time, I didn't really know how to dress, so somebody had to show me. You might not know it to look at him now, but Kelvin Lee wasn't always a sharp dresser. Hooked on drugs at a young age, he turned to armed robberies, and for that, he spent a long time in prison. And I spent uh, most of my time in Spring Creek. And, um, you know, from there I went to Palmer, and then I went to Kenai. I've been to Point McKenzie as well. Uh, that was the last place I, I got out of. After spending 12 years in prison, Kelvin thought he was ready for the outside world, but he was wrong. He wasn't able to break the cycle. A bad decision sent him back to prison for three years. And looking back, he says he now knows he wasn't prepared to succeed in the outside world. Because I, I always function well in prison. I struggled when I came to the streets because it didn't make sense to me. Right? Now it makes sense, but somebody had to teach me. Teaching Kelvin made him realize he could be a teacher to others and help them to break the cycle. Hey man, what's going on, brother? Kelvin became an AmeriCorps volunteer where he works with the prisoner reentry program. Sometimes he goes back into the prisons to talk to inmates there. Other times he meets with those recently released to find out what barriers are holding them back. He might say, I don't have a bus pass, or oh, I don't have an alarm clock, I don't have a suit coat, I don't have a tie. Mm -hmm. We don't need to hear all that. I can get all that for you, right? What you need. That's why I said we assess the needs quickly, because we want to eliminate the excuses. And Kelvin says the negativity of his own past has now become a positive when it comes to reaching out and letting others know he's been there, too. I'm using that. I'm using that to, to let guys know that there's hope. You know what I'm saying, brother? I walked around that same corner. You know what I'm saying? I, I used the same drugs you used. You know? But I was able to make the transition. So now, with them seeing how my life is going, you know then it makes it easier for me to speak into theirs because they'll listen. You know now, Kelvin is able to lend more than just a helping hand. The prisoner reentry program can help people pay the rent, get medical care, job skills training, the things that can really make a difference for offenders to succeed. If you'd like more information on those services, you'll find them on our website, ktva.com. Reagan, back to you. Terror tonight on the streets. In